Yo. What is up, suck mother lovers? You ain't about this life, boo. Ugh. How y'all doing, suck mother lovers? Hey, y'all. Hey, thank y'all for all of y'all who have Twittered me, Facebook me, IM me, emailed me, I mean, everything me about these reviews. First of all, thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all know it's hard, but you know what? I got real busy. I was trying to do too much at one time, so I was like, oh my gosh, it's almost about to be three weeks. So, first of all, my confession, I didn't even know what day the episode came on because I always look at it on DVR. So, I was like, okay, I get it. Okay, Mondays, 8 o'clock, I got it. So, I need to start, you know, you know, remembering, get somewhere by TV so I don't do this. So, yeah, that's what's going on with me. So, with that being said, let's go on and get into this review. We're reviewing episodes four and five. First of all, <laughs> am I the only one that was uh, curious on why they was in New York in the first place? Like, I was really trying to figure out the relevance, but I guess they were in New York to just bring about a new little scenery. I guess. I don't know, but... What I was laughing so hard when um, they were talking about like all the like when Susie was talking about like all the things that um, uh, Kenya wanted for her video. First of all, no, I was laughing real hard. How are you gonna try to rent a club from a thousand dollars to fifty dollars? Like really? I give you fifty dollars in a jawbreaker. Like wasn't that <laughs> Ezel type stuff? Really? Uh, I, my neck, my back, my neck, and my no Ezel. You cannot get this club for fifty dollars. Like who do you think you are? Like. And for her to say when it, she was talking about we in page six and for Kenya's response to be like, I don't care about the page six of a book. Oh, she is so retarded. Retarded, like seriously, like, but whatever. And then for them to be serving instead of alcohol, they're going to serve Kool-Aid. I can't, I can't with all the connect, with all the uh, curvaceous that they're trying to do to make this video a low budget video. I'm telling y'all, y'all should have just listened to me on what to do. That's what y'all should have did. Just, just, just did some capture shots and just paste them behind your head. Or you could have just blew it up. I mean... That would have cost you about fifty dollars, y'all. Just that's just awful. And then the Greyhound bus from Detroit to New York to shooting the video, girl. You better get you some people that's on the street and tell me you can. Get, you, they got Kool Aid and Jawbreakers in there. They'll come, girl. They come real fast. You'd be surprised what people do for a quarter. Okay, so Jen has this photo shoot. Um, was I the only one that bust out laughing when she had that uh, necklace on her head? Like, first of all. I saw the picture, uh, of course, before this episode, clearly. And I was like, why is that thing leaning on the side of her? It was like right here. She was like, cheese. No, boo. You should have edited or corrected or said, no, that's not going to fly. Because that, girl, it looked like a mess on your head. I, I, got, I got it. I saw what they was trying to do. But nobody could. It was 88 people on that said Nobody could say it's crooked on her head. Not not now, Al, nobody. That's shameful. We're going to go and give you a fail for that one, Jim. But you tried. You you try. You in. Was it lucid? Oh, y'all. Yeah. My dog choking. That's just his way of trying to get on camera. He think I don't know. So, as I was watching episode five, I, I had a comment for episode four. But when I was watching episode four, um, I was like, boy, Kenya is something retarded. And I was like, I bet you she had no idea that that man was going to serve her in the voice papers. But then I started reading stories about her chasing him with a knife and cut. Which, she just too much. She, yeah. And then she was saying in episode five that... She's going through the same thing. It's been a long, drawn-out process. Is it because you won't sign the papers, girl? Let's just spill that real tea. Was I the only one that felt like her her official video was just one step upgraded with better lighting from the videos that she was doing on YouTube? I was like, is this it? Like, I, the makeup was better, but I was like, there was nothing. I didn't see no sparkles. They could have went to the fireworks stand and did something. It would have added a little sparkle. You know, the girls could have been dancing with them and... I mean, they only last 18 seconds, but, you know, you could at least got some good shots. I wasn't, I, mm -mm. You know, and so as we approach Jen's uh, launch party for Lucy, first of all, it takes a lot to try to try to launch a product, especially when you're not out there, I guess, the way you want to. But, Susie, you just hating Ike all the time. Like, she immediately says, so, where's everybody? Like, I don't understand why people not here. I mean, it's sad. It was just me and King of there. Like, no one else was there. Bianch, everybody was there. Not everybody, because I wasn't there. But it was a lot of people there. But because you don't see the drama and the mess in the group, oh, nobody was there. Like, I feel like Susie only supports events just so she can see if there's some tea popping off. That's just my personal opinion. And I'm entitled to it. What you gonna do? Nothing. Oh, Keisha, I knew it was, they. I knew they was going to come for you when you decided to come over there and get them people a pep talk that was trying to support your event. Okay, so this is a serious event, and so if everybody could just be on their best behavior, and when Susie gets here, can y'all just kind of watch it for me? Bitch, 
girl, I saw it in everybody's eyes. It was kind of like, I was like, girl, she, she going to get it. They about to tell her a new asshole. And they did. I knew it was going to happen. Though. Yeah. She pretty much out the circle. Keisha's out. She is out the circle. But she probably going to finagle her way back in looking at the previews after ep uh, was for episode six. Oh, I thought it was so funny that when Keisha was getting like jumped on by Tammy and stuff, that the whole time, I'm, I cannot, I have to say it again. It reminded me of the scene from Color Purple when they were all at the table. And it was just, I mean, all hell broke loose. Like, you know, uh, what is her little name? Uh, God dog on it. What was it? The little girl that got slapped in the face and got thrown in the water. Oh, I'm so mad. My name ain't Squeak. Was it Squeak? Yeah, her. But it was just a whole bunch of hell. And it was like this table. Same thing. It was a whole bunch going on the whole time. That dog on Kenya would. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. You know, I really feel like that they just really didn't understand you. That hoe is bipolar, y'all, for real. Like, how did she go from that? Like, that scared me, but girl, you messed up. You talking in front of Susie. We all know that Susie has diarrhea of the mouth, so you already know Susie pretty much was like, just keep talking, I'm gonna record this. It just make it easy for me to repeat when I come back. Just keep talking, please. Mm, mm, mm. Told you not to bring that bomb. Kenya, you know you effed up, right? You know you didn't effed up. Talking in front of Susie, girl, rule number one to being a basketball wife, ex-wife, jump off, baby mama. Never talk in front of Susie unless you want to repeat it. This is probably going to be inappropriate, but I'm not going to apologize for it. Because it's, yeah, this is this is what I have to say. Here it goes. So, um, when they pulled up to Keisha's family house, her uncle, her uncle Joe, or whatever his name was, was I the only one that was waiting on anybody to come out there and say, oh, well, hello, we got a nigger here in the house. It is a nigger, you little darky. Come on in and have some cornbread. I was nervous. Like, those were some real white folks. Like, I, I was uh, I was nervous. And let me tell you something. I'm very cultured. I love everybody, all people. I didn't been in the same situation, but I, I was nervous through the television. I was like, girl, you are outnumbered. Girl, run. One girl, but no, they were very nice, and it was good to, you know, I'm, I'm so happy that Basketball Wives, th this year, I guess because they got so much flack of the show being so negative, they finally are taking it and making it more positive. Good, because nobody want to just always, oh, okay, some of us do want to just always see fighting. I mean, a little fighting, a little slapping in there is cool, you know, whatever, we kind of like it, but seriously, though, like, I don't know, like, it was good to see and hear, you know, her life, her struggle, you know. You know what she had to go through because you know i have friends that are mixing you know a lot of them they have struggled with that because what are you what are you what is your mama like what don't ask me what i am i get that it, what what you mix with i can't tell you no i can tell you people ask me what i'm mixed with i say black and neck now i am creole but i tell don't ask me what i'm mixed with your hang like most black people what is, what does that mean are we going back to the ethnic thing don't get murked please don't get murked sorry i'm off subject i'm back I'm going to put it out there. When King was in the confessional, her hair looked like Rick James. A bitch! Yeah, it did. The first time that Kenya ever seemed normal to me was when her and Jen, Jen were, you know, talking. And I was like, wow, she actually may be normal for like two seconds. I feel like that's how she got, you know, what was his name? The Mr. Bell guy. I don't know his name. So, I'm be honest. But I feel like that's how she got him. She was just normal long enough to just tie me in. And then she was like, <laughs> oh, whoa, she's crazy. You know what, Jen? I like you sometimes, but you was a dumb little broad sometimes. Did you really ask uh, Susie if she had to go use the bathroom in the outhouse? Really? Really? That country? Really? First of all, it makes me mad. No, I'm pissed off. Like, boo, you need to go out and get you some culture. You know, it's more past Miami and New York, boo. You need to go out, find some stuff. You know, you ain't got to have on the chinchilla everywhere you go. Find some damn culture because you got one more ten, one more again before you get knocked with another person to call somebody country. I'd rather be bougie than country. What is that supposed to mean, Jennifer? Huh? What is that supposed to mean? You and your damn color contacts. I'm with Eb. I'm about ready to pop them out your eye. Talking about country people. Ain't nothing wrong with us. You know. Okay, I'm not going to get on it. Woo, si. I'm over it. Oh, Royce. Yeah, Royce is always trying to clean up situations, but Royce, she knows how to approach every single person, you know, and just be real, but Royce, she keeps it. Like, look, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You was wrong. <laughs> you know, like, she, even with Tammy, when her and Tammy was having a conversation, she was like, I mean, you're, you're still wrong as hell, but, you know, we love each other, and that's good. Like, it's great that, like, she's able to do that. 
so if to sum up the description of your video of your book it's a tell-all book right that's you you spilling tea that's what it is but you just wanted to approach it a different way right figure that was I the only one that didn't realize that baby's whole face was tattooed like I did not realize his whole his whole face was a tattoo it was all connected at least by a dot or something I was like like seriously like who wakes up and say you know what I'm gonna get a tattoo you know what? I'm going to get about 80 more on my face. Like, it's cool. But I mean, at the end of the day, he a millionaire. It ain't like he going to go apply for a job so he can look like that. I'm just nervous. I felt like Ev was talking to the black mom. They were all sitting there like, Evelyn, my child, you come to us with this book. Fill it with tea. How do you plan to spill it? But damn. Just like that. Damn. She got a book deal. I'm in the wrong god doggone business. This microphone in my hand. Maybe I just need to go have a baby and then get on the show and slap a couple of people. Be loud. <sighs> I'm in the wrong business. This is just, I'm staying in this business, but don't it make y'all mad? It don't make me mad, but I'm like, dang, for real? But she a hustler, baby. I ain't gonna ever, 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 never take that from Evelyn. That baby is a hustler, baby. She was like, oh, I'm gonna use my looks all the way to the very end. What? This 15 minutes, I'm stretching to 19 minutes and 22 seconds. What? You know, I, this is what's wrong with a lot of people these days. They feel like you can't change, and when you change, oh, something is wrong. When I moved out here, I had to change because guess what? I had to survive. Surviving mean, meant that I had to mature. You know, and so, of course, my, you know, carefree attitude and, you know, being in the club all the time and, you know, just whatever, whatever, yeah, that has to change, but because now I got some serious bills, and if I don't pay them, guess what? I got to go back to Houston. So, yeah, sometimes people got to change, and, I mean, I, of course, have not experienced, like, how Jen has probably changed and what they're talking about. But it felt like they were kind of giving her a hard time with speaking up for herself. Like, it's about time that she didn't allow Evelyn or anybody else to bully her. You know, and she finally was like, well, F you too, bitch. Like, it's possible. But I know they were talking about her being in the clubs and all that stuff. But beyond that, Tim was like, yeah, and you even, we was kind of like, who is this person that's speaking up? Something wrong with that? Tammy, you, you speak up to everybody. I mean, I'm surprised. You probably be speaking up to Jesus. I'm nervous. This is just a side note. I want everybody's necklace in this show. Everybody. Like, I, every necklace. I was like, damn, I want that one. They probably pay $8,000 for them. I need to knock off. I need Kmart or Walmart or Target or somebody to make it. Somebody. Okay, so. Was I the only one that was kind of like. At Shawnee's uh, birthday after she gave a speech. And then Kim was like, all right, my turn with my speech. And they was like, ah, you stupid. All right, give you a speech. And she was like. Shawnee. Everybody was like, wait, bitch, you got a real speech? Like, for real? Like, you wrote this on a piece of paper? Like, this is real life. I was like, no, for real. Like, seriously? She crazy. And everybody at that table was too drunk to even hold it in. Like, they was leaning over and laughing. Like, I would have Like, I couldn't believe that. And Shawnee's face was kind of like, oh, you... Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. It was weird, but I got it. She was basically trying to say, thank you for letting me have a voice outside my YouTube videos. Because people think you're crazy, but it just made it worse. That's just kind of like um, homegirl on L.A., uh, Christy. Jackie Christy, she not. Oof. They need to hang out because they just crazy, both of them. Just cut and raise it. Ooh, Susie. Y'all did not call it. Girl, girl, girl. Did not call it. I told y'all. By episode five, I guess I said that, maybe five or six, that somebody was going to be ready to pop Susie in her mouth. And by golly, I was right. Susie, your lift been got you in a whole lot of fit this time, girl. Somebody going to slap the fit out of you. You know that if it's Tammy, woo, Tammy going to slap you, baby. And I can't wait. But mm -hmm, it's about to go down. Told ya. I thought it was funny that when Evelyn was giving her speech, that when, um... Shawnee was about to hug her. She was like, oh my God, give me a hug. And y'all women, y'all definitely know what this means. She's putting her shoes back on because she had them off under the table. We don't be playing no games. Why do we have our shoes on under the table? It's time to take these suckers off. What? For y'all that have seen Bridesmaids, y'all about to feel me on this. When, <laughs> when Ev and Jen were competing on who can give the speeches, it immediately reminded me of when the two bridesmaids was competing on who knew the bride the best. And so they was like, remember? Remember? We... We had that look. Keep smiling. Keep shining. That hilarious to me. Huh? Freaking hilarious to me. Oh!
Yeah, it was so funny when Ev was like, Shawnee, you good? Shawnee was like, I'm good. Like, Shawnee's eyes was kind of wondering. She, first of all, I was drunk. Second of all, she was like, it, man, everybody was nervous because you knew Evelyn was waiting. Like, Evelyn's hurt. She trying like, but she's mad too. Okay, I get it. And and Jen is kind of like, boo, I had enough. Because Jen kind of looked at her for a while because she was trying real hard not to say anything because this is Shawnee's day. But then I guess she had been said F you and been called one too many bitches. She was like, man, F you. And I was like, it's, girl, it's going to happen right now. Shawnee was funny. <laughs> Evelyn was like, you got something? No, 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 she doesn't. No, no, no. Yeah, she got something to say. Evelyn, I'm going to just have to give you the gangster award for this episode. You slithered your purse through about that much of a crack. That was funny. Like, I saw what's name's head do like that and I had heard about it but I really didn't see it. So when they really highlighted it and showed how Evelyn slid her purse through, I was like, that was pretty gangster. I gotta watch you when I see you, but that was gangster. That was funny too. But y'all think they gonna end up fighting? <sighs> I know Jen gets slapped real hard in her face, and her contact probably gonna pop out. But I wonder if they gonna fight. Next episode gonna be funny. I'm so happy that Keisha is about to spill the tea on what Kenya said. This is about to be funny. But y'all, y'all saw when Kenya was taking them shoes off and Keisha jumped up. I thought she was jumping up to go on and get the first look. She jumped up. Like, girl, camera's over. Turn the cameras off. Y'all better not let this girl touch me. Hilarious. So anyway, sucker mother lovers, y'all know this is the end. So until next time, hopefully it's not in two weeks because I'm gonna edit this video and I'm gonna post another one next week. Ah! I'm gonna go this way, haha. Uh -huh. You ain't about this life, biatch!